Kanye West is one of the most beloved artists in the history of hip-hop. Even though, over the years, he has gained a controversial reputation, no matter what he does, his immense following has always stuck by him. After all the wild remarks he has made during his career, or the times he embarrasses himself for the world to see, his diehard fans always have his back. They even forgave him when he called slavery a choice. Don't get me wrong, while Kanye did lose some of his fans, he managed to gain them all back when he announced he was a born-again Christian. The world was introduced to a new Kanye, one that claimed follow Christ, which ended up gaining him a whole new audience. People were expecting Kanye to be a changed man and for a while, he seemed to be. But for the last year now, Kanye has been making it clear that he never truly changed. And if we look at this new Vultures album, it seems to confirm that. Hey guys, I hope all is well. Welcome to the True Fish channel, where I drop videos every other day exposing the truth. In today's episode, we will be talking about Kanye West's Vultures album. But before we begin, I just wanted to give a special shout out to Sembird for sponsoring this video. I still remember the first time I went to the mall to buy my first bottle of cologne. And that's when I learned that a good scent is very expensive, but it doesn't have to be with Sempert. Sempert is a fragrance monthly subscription service that provides you with access to a massive supply of fragrances. The way that Sempert works is that you pay a monthly subscription and you get to choose one fragrance a month from their huge inventory. The fragrance is then conveniently sent to your home and the following month, you get to choose a different option. Semper lets you choose a new fragrance to try every month for just $17 a month. Each fragrance comes with 30 days worth of the scent, so you can try it out before committing to a full-size bottle. This is great because we all know how expensive a full-size cologne bottle could be. If you go to your local mall to get your fragrances, you quickly notice a bottle can run you hundreds of dollars. You can order a 30-day supply on Sunbird for $17, and this way you can see if you like the scent first before spending all that money. Sunbird always has plenty of high-end fragrances in stock that at the click of a button, you can get shipped to your front door, no hassle. You get the scent you want, and you save money while doing it. The wonderful people over at Sempert actually sent me three new scents. The Forward by Mind Games, Scandalwood by Heretic, and Apex by Rojo Perfume. If you're looking for a new scent, you should definitely get the Apex by Rojo Perfume. It smells amazing. It has a sweet but strong smell that is honestly impressive and perfect to wear on any occasion. I went to look up how much this fragrance was because I was considered buying a full bottle for myself and whoa, I think it said it was 4 to 500 bucks. I might as well get it on Scentbird for a $17 subscription. As you can see, Scentbird sends your fragrances in these awesome spray vials and they even send you a stylish case to carry it in. So if you want to give Scentbird a try, today's the perfect day. Use my link in the description with code TRUTH or scan the code on the screen now to get 55% off your first month with Scentbird. Don't miss out on this awesome deal. That means you'll get your first month for a little over 7 bucks and you really can't beat that. I once again want to give a special thank you to Semper for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get right into it. Right when everyone thinks it's over for Kanye, he shocks the world and makes another comeback. For years now, Kanye has gone from controversy to controversy, escaping cancellation each time. He makes the world mad at him and then drops a project to capitalize off the negative attention. He then disappears for some time and when he comes back, everyone forgives him and acts like they don't remember what he did. It's just like he's doing right now with his Vultures album. Kanye, who was awfully quiet for the first half of 2023, started showing up towards the end of the year to do what he does best, spark controversy. He knew he was getting ready to drop a new album, so he once again started controversy like he does every time he drops an album. This is just one of the ways this new album proves Kanye would never truly change. This album also proves Kanye, despite claiming to be a Christian, was never truly a Christian. While people believe Kanye turned to Christ and became a changed man, this new album proves that it is all a lie. And Kanye is still very well dancing with the devil. I have been saying that since Kanye came out as a Christian years back, it was all a gimmick, but the imagery he is using with this album proves that he is still very much a Masonic puppet. The album cover has the duality theme all over it, as Kanye can be seen wearing a Jason mask standing next to his barely dressed wife. The Masonic duality imagery is all over the place with this cover. For one, Kanye is wearing all black with a white mask, which represents black and white, a symbol of duality. Then it's a photo of Kanye and his wife, a male and a female, another symbol of duality. Kanye is face forward towards the camera while his wife is showing her back, which is another symbol of duality. Another thing I noticed is that Kanye is clearly presenting his wife as a scarlet offering like they do in Thelema, which would explain exactly why he has his wife barely dressed outside and has been showing her all over the place. This is how the scarlet woman is shown. The name of the album is also dark as vultures are known as a symbol of death, just like the Jason mask as well. While the album cover looks so simple, 
It states so much through its imagery. Kanye has also posted a strange demonic looking music video for his Vulture song on the album, but we will be getting into that in a little bit. About two months ago, Kanye was doing an album release party for this Vulture album. In similar Kanye fashion, he created a controversial moment to hype up this album. He invited a bunch of influencers to an album release party and made them all film him live. Usually, celebrity parties don't allow phones, but Kanye wanted to be broadcasted. Throughout his rant, he said a bunch of things that I spoke about and made it clear Kanye was being used to create division and conflict. Throughout the entire rant, Kanye was referring to being prepared to start conflict, saying that his people outnumber those people and that his people can take them on. This rhetoric that Kanye is spilling is very dangerous, but it's the agenda the Masonic Order wants to push. Kanye's entire purpose of this rant was to incite the conflict the elite are planning for. What's interesting is that if you saw this video I made months back on Albert Pike, Kanye was ranting about a similar war that Albert Pike spoke about the Masons having planned for the New World Order. Albert Pike spoke about all of this in a letter he wrote back in the 1800s, over 200 years ago. This letter spoke about a conflict that appears to be unfolding right in front of our faces. If we look at Kanye's rollout, it appears to follow this war theme. Just a couple days back, Kanye posted this music video for his song Vultures that's full of disturbing imagery and more of what appears to be this war apocalypse imagery. The video is full of dark imagery and scenes of what appears to be a burning world. In one scene of the video, they show a hooded man clearly doing an occult ritual. He can be seen sitting in front of a table with a chalice that has a fire burning inside of it. Clearly, the person being shown is doing a ritual. Seconds later, they show the one-eye symbolism when an all-white possessed eye is shown on the screen. There's another scene that seems to show a nuclear fallout and what appears to be witches walking through. The video was full of this end times appearing imagery. There's another scene where they show a random owl, then a man standing by a window wearing a similar cloak to the man that was doing the ritual earlier in the video. We all know the owl is an important symbol in the occult. The owl was the real symbol of the original Illuminati, and the owl is the main mascot in the Bohemian Grove. They strategically showed this owl and then this cloaked man to point to the occult. Another scene that matches this war imagery is the one that appears of a nuclear bomb exploding and it wiping out everything in sight. The occult imagery was all over this video as they repeatedly showed cloaked men practicing occult rituals. We also saw a lot of one-eye symbolism all throughout the video and towards the end of the video they even show the fallen angel Lucifer. We can clearly see the imagery in this video and it shows a great war and the destruction that comes with it. It's important to note that this video was created by John Raffman under Kanye West's order. This is the message he wanted to send out through the video. A video full of images that goes against God in every way. Why Kanye is choosing to put this imagery out now is a question we deserve answers to. Answers that we won't be told but we must find through the imagery. Kanye is showing us he is not on our side, on the side of Christ. He is a Masonic puppet being used to push the Masonic agenda. We all know that vultures are a symbol of death and Kanye named his album Vultures and then makes a video showing this kind of imagery. Kanye also dropped a video for his song called Talking Once Again. The song features his daughter, showing that he is indoctrinating her young into this demonic industry. The video again follows this dark theme imagery and again displays tons of one-eye symbolism to the very end of the video. This album shows us that Kanye never turned to Christ. It shows us that Kanye was used by Lucifer to deceive so many of God's people. The fact that Kanye has been seen openly hanging out with someone like Playboy Cardi should have been a dead giveaway. Kanye showed up to Cardi's performance and was even in the studio with him making songs. Why would Kanye make music promoting sin with Playboy Cardi if he really were a Christian? You can't be a follower of Christ and then work for the devil. I recently covered Playboy Cardi as he was being called out for wearing a thong. This is the puppet Kanye is keeping around them because Kanye is a puppet too. Kanye made it clear he was a puppet during his Vultures rant when he talks about the company Vanguard and their control over society. God, God runs the world. Then under that, you got thousand-year-old families, Medici. Under that, you have the Vatican, yeah. the Pope. Under that, you have the financial groups that control shit. BlackRock, Vanguard. After that, you have Putin. You have Trump. You have all this shit. And after that, you got what all this is? Entertainment. Hollywood. Take that. Run that back. Run into schools. What a as you heard for yourself, Kanye lays down how the power pyramid works. He stated that the power structure works in specific levels, explaining the system starts with God on top of the pyramid. He then claims that the old billionaire families like the Medici family is under God, 
And then he claims it's the Vatican, and underneath the Vatican is the world political leaders. After them, it's the billionaire investors like Vanguard and BlackRock. And under these companies is the entertainment industry, which he admits he is a part of. In this part of the rant is when Kanye reveals what side he is still on. According to Kanye's logic, the almighty God is who oversees the elite families, and the elite families oversees the Vatican, and then everything falls under that. This lets you know exactly that who Kanye is calling God is not our God. It's important to note that Kanye not once mentioned the Masonic Order. Why aren't the Masonic Order listed on this world pyramid? This lets you know that he himself is a Mason, and he isn't being honest but manipulative. The Masonic Order is under Lucifer, not God, and this is exactly who Kanye is serving. According to Kanye's logic, God is overseeing the evil elite that are using us like slaves, essentially claiming God is who is in charge of these evil actions. This is false and blasphemous. Albert Pike already revealed that their God is Lucifer, the same man who spoke about the great war Kanye was inciting. All of this clearly shows us that Kanye never changed, he never was a follower of God like he claimed. He was simply a puppet playing out his role. Well, that's it for this video, but before you guys go, I just wanted to once again thank Semper for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to try Semper out today, scan the code on the screen now, or click the link in the description with code TRUTH to get 55% off your first month at Semper. Also, make sure you guys like and comment below so that the algorithm will recommend this video to others. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.